and the pad is here. We'll take the 3.3 volt first. So then we'll solder it to this wire like so. Don't require a lot of heat. So we've made a nice soldering. It's sticking to the wire like this and the rest of the lead is uh, non-conductive like this and take the next one <clears throat> so the same process Okay, so the last one, we've heated it up so that the enamel goes off and we have applied some solder to it. So now it's going in, into the last interrupt one, like so. We'll inspect it. Yep. We'll take this um, little screwdriver here, not the drink, <laughs> no drinking and soldering, or maybe, <laughs> anyhow, we will ensure that they uh, are put uh, downwards at the pads, but we want them to be able to stick to the sensor. So we're folding them up like this. So now we've, we've got them all sticking up. They're really formable. Like this. We will apply the sensor. Like this. And uh, since we're not mounting with the, uh, the proper footprint, uh, with the headers, we are uh, going to have to align it properly and uh, check that out so I form them like an S and uh, take these plastic things off it's yeah two on top of each other which is equally high as the um, uh, header offsets and we will try to mount it in so that this ship doesn't touch anything but the pads on the board so these caps we don't want to touch for uh, vibration characteristics and so forth which is really why we, we are doing this um, uh, wire thing yeah so it was a little off but we can push it to be straight on So it's all looking like this now. Cut them off in the proper lengths. And then we'll solder them. Use our little screwdriver here to push it in. And always remember to wipe the solder on a wet sponge. You can smell the enamel coming off if you are smelling what you're soldering, which you shouldn't. So you'll have to trust your eyes and your your multimeter, because your multimeter will tell you that this ship is powered by 3.3 volts now. It's still providing a, a lot of flexibility like this, so I think this is going to be really nice.
yeah I'm pretty happy with that so let's inspect them one last time before we call it good all the six leads go down and they seem to go straight down to their respective via under and we can check it from the side like this and we can try to uh, push it and see what happens yeah it's looking quite nice like this okay so we think we're done with the uh, mini shield uh, we've soldered in the uh, pro mini the level converter the power regulator the headers power section um, the sensor board with the question mark uh, leads to it like this uh, but we're not really 100% done because we don't want to um, just stick power in here and hope for the best we can actually do things to prevent that so what we're gonna do is take our multimeter and first of all we're gonna put it in uh, the um, ohms range the lowest ohm range and what we're gonna search for is uh, shorts not my shorts but shorts on the board <laughs> um, so in this schematic we have the depot battery coming in through this diode which is uh, the diode here which uh, sh should protect against the uh, short uh, wrong polarity uh, up to one amp of uh, reverse polarity and um, <clears throat> also we got uh, the um, the output of the 5 volt regulator this point this junction um, which also goes to the Atmega uh, power supply and the receiver power supply we want to check that for uh, shorts to ground if it's uh, been shortened out and we also want to check the output of the 3 volt regulator so let's do that um, so we have a multimeter gonna put it in the 200 ohms range there okay and we have our test leads so we're gonna check the inputs first no nothing that's good just to be sure let's check if we put them together yep yeah, that's 0 0.7 ohms um, we can also check this thing which is VCC so these two pads which are going into the other diode if they are grounded no it's showing something but a very high resistance and that is fine um, we can also check that uh, things are soldered in correctly that we have contact with them only this little short stuff here and um, we can also check that the uh, regulator the 3 volt regulator ain't the shorted out by attaching one lead to the ground pad like this and checking out here the big trace here which is the 3 volt source yeah a high resistance but no low resistances such as a short which would be below 1 ohm of um, resistance so that's fine uh, we think that we have it sorted we can also check for shorts here on the sensor this is the VCC and ground nothing there we can check every lead actually because none of these should connect to each other no nothing we can also check that um, the 3.3 volt here goes out to the 3.3 volt here so that we have a connection between 3.3 volt yeah yep 0 0.7 ohms 
We can check that we have ground on this pad. Here, there it comes. 0 0.8 ohms. Um, we can also check that the SDA and SCL are connected. These two to TXI here. No, that's not it. Check the other one, the other channel. Yep, that's it. We have connection. The other one, TXI on this channel too. Yep, we have connection. So, we believe this works, but to be extra safe, uh, we're gonna take a little safety precaution. Like, um, first of all, we wanna estimate what um, amp draw it, it takes. Uh, so, what we do is we take Ohm's law, um, this is your voltage equals resistance times amps, uh, which is marked by URI. And we have our uh, two cell um, uh, LiPo, so it's 8 volts, about 8.2 volts when I charge it. And um, it equals R, we don't know R, and 0 0.1, because I think uh, that 100 milliamps should be the absolute tops of what this uh, actually draws. Um, which equals 80 ohms. So if we have this circuit with the battery here, and uh, don't mind this now, there's coming current here, and we have our load. This is the flight board, everything on it, the active components, the sensors, the uh, Atmega, uh, everything should equal about 80 ohms if it was a serious resistance. Um, so this is an equivalent circuit. And what we want to do is that even if we have shorted these out, even if we would have a short on the ground and the VCC, uh, we add another resistor here of 80 ohms. So um, we can um, be sh safe that um, when we plug in the leads it won't smoke. Because this resistance here will always be there when we test. So let's do that. Um, and also, another important thing, what is measuring current? Well, you break the circuit anywhere in the circuit. You break it and put your um, your current measuring uh, multimeter in uh, series here. So first put it in amps mode and then we can add it in series. And it looks like this. You pull it over to 200 milliamps. I don't ever think it's gonna be more than that, but uh, it is fused, so we're pretty safe anyways. Um, so what we're gonna do is take our 80 ohms resistor. Whoops. We're gonna take our battery. We're gonna attach the negative lead. Doesn't really matter which lead, which lead you you chose to cut, but we take we're taking the ground here and attach it to our black lead, negative lead, and pull it in. Okay. Now we have an open circuit between uh, V in and ground, just like in the schematic. We've broken the uh, plus line. What we're doing is we're inserting the resistor of 80 ohms. You can measure it. This is 75 ohms. Anyhow, insert it in the uh, positive uh, terminal of the battery. And then we can measure the current draw, just like in the schematic. 